Hello, so in this session we're going to take a look at getting our Uma character to work with Unity's third person controller. So let's dive in. So before we start, let's have a look at the project that I have set up. So first of all, this is using the URP template. So this is the universal render pipeline, which is not standard for Uma, but I'm going to show you how we can very easily get around that. Um, and I've also imported the starter assets, a third person controller. So that's this controller that's free and distributed by Unity. Okay. So I'm not going to show the setup of all of that because uh, that's a chore in itself. So let's get straight on with actually using Uma. So again, I've used this before. So if I head into the package manager and I hunt through my packages for Uma 2, there we go. Unity multi-purpose avatar. So I'm going to import that into this project. So once that's done, you should find your Uma folder sitting in your project. Okay, so we've now got the third person controller and Uma in our project. So let's head off into the third person controller itself and open up the scene, which is called Playground. Just let those shaders compile. And there we go. So if I scooch around here, you can see there's our character, there's our playground. If we play, then we can walk around, we can look about, we can jump, do all the things that this controller does. Okay. So let's have a, a little look at what we've got here in our player. So we start with a player armature and that's got all the scripts on that do the controllery stuff. Okay. And inside we have a player camera route, which is something this controller uses. However, in here you can see something which hopefully will be familiar. We've got a skeleton and we've got the actual geometry, the skin of our character. So if we do what we did in part one and open up our Uma folder, we should see in getting started, we need our Uma glib to be able to generate Umas in this scene. And if we drag in an Uma dynamic character avatar, let's just pop them there. Straight away you will see that uh, this is trying to use the standard render pipeline. So that's what Uma does. It works with the standard render pipeline by standard. Um, so we'll fix that in a moment. But let's have a look over here at the structure of our room. And again, it's a game object with a skeleton and a skin inside. So it's almost exactly the same structure as we've got here. So all we need to do really is put a dynamic character avatar on this armature. And that should generate these two items for us. First, let's sort this uh, URP problem out. So first things first really easy to do let's get rid of this dynamic character avatar because it'll go berserk while we're doing this so we'll delete that so if i head up to the uma menu and i go to the srp option and say i want to convert my uma project to urp if i hit this it will ask me do you want to continue i'll say yes and then it warns me that i need to run the unity converter as well so i'm going to hit okay and then go up to window rendering and render pipeline converter if i hit that i just want to do a material upgrade on my project so this will pick up all of the materials in the uma folder and upgrade them i'm going to say initialize and convert and save my scene and that should have done it so let's have a look if we put in a dynamic character avatar now as you can see there we go we've now got our uma running in urp okay so we know this now works so let's get this guy working in place of this model here all right so again let's delete that one we don't want him let's head over to the play armature and inside here we're going to destroy the geometry and the skeleton that already exist to do this we're going to have to unpack this prefab because it's it's something stored in their examples folder so i'm going to right click on the armature I'm going to say uh, prefab and we're going to unpack completely. So once we've done that, that will allow us to freely get rid of this geometry. So delete the geometry and the skeleton. Delete. So if we go back to the armature now, we should be able to add ourselves an Uma to this character. 
So I'm just going to scroll to the bottom, add a component, and as always, I'm going to add the dynamic character avatar. When I've done that, again, if you remember, nothing appears until I select a race. So I'm going to say human male. And again, just for fun, I'm going to make him look decent. So we're going to have some underwear on there. Um, male underwear. In fact, let's give him a few more things. Let's try, um, up to, let's look for pants. Let's pick male pants and drop them in there. There we go. Um, let's then let's look for a shirt. And we'll have that one. Lovely. And finally, let's give him some hair. And oh, this looks a good one. The male slick hair. And smashing. So the last thing is we need to tell Uma what animator controls to use. Now this is already set up here. We've got the starter assets, third person. So down in our Uma dynamic character avatar, let's go to the race animation controllers and it's already picked that up automatically. So I shouldn't actually have to do anything else here. So if I press play, there I have an Uma character attached to the Unity third person controller. And I can run around, I can jump, I can do everything that we could do before, but now I can change clothes, I can change shape, I can do all sorts. Just to prove that point, let's just minimize this for a second. Uh, and we will grab our player and make that essential upgrade of making his arms huge. Absolutely perfect. What could be better? Let's just maximize that again. And perfect. So I hope that showed you how easy it is to add Uma characters to controllers. The process should be fairly similar for whatever controller you want to use. Okay, see you next time.